Hey guys, in this video we're going to cover SIM cards and cellular reception. So, when looking at the BCT and a, a through hike, there's a good chance that 90 something percent of the time you'll probably have nothing. You'll be in nowhere, uh, in the middle of nowhere, you'll have no reception, you'll be close to nothing, which is fantastic. But still, we all like to have uh, reception, friends, WhatsApp, Facebook, etc. It's really important and I think uh, uh, it's good fun. So, uh, which network is the worst and which network is the best? It's a little bit, you know, it's not that easy to answer that question, but I'll do my best to do that in this video. Um, if you're coming from abroad, this video is going to be very useful for you because there are different options for you to choose from and you should probably go for uh, the better option. So, let's start with the beginning. Um, and the first thing is to, that you need to remember is that the reception will be probably, of course, in town. Um, and whenever you're in town, you ideally switch into Wi-Fi. But when you're in town, you know, you want to have enough data and to have enough uh, um, the, the ability to you can actually call anywhere and do stuff with the, with the phone. But also coming to town or actually seeing town from, from far away that from a lookout point or really when you're whether you're in, in a place like uh like a pass or um a mountain top you can really see the the town far far ahead um there's a good chance you might re be able to uh, have some reception um but it all depends on your network so i'll start with the worst network that i've experienced from friends that had uh that sim card and that would be sprint and of course there are other smaller ones like Pay as you go uh, providers in uh, uh, the different kind of uh, um, different vendors like uh, like Metro PCTs, phones, and stuff like that. I would not go into that, but the, the popular ones are uh, which I would say from the worst to the, to the best. Sprint Sprint might be great in certain metro cities, but when it comes to the PCT, there's absolutely no reception. Besides one point that none of us had reception, and only Sprint had. But the rest of the, the place, it's, it's just a deadbeat. So my advice, just my personal experience and others that I've hiked with is don't go for that if that would be your default or if you're thinking about getting a SIM card for a pay-as-you-go plan. And for those of you who don't know what pay-as-you-go plan is, just, just to get the SIM card, pretty simple. You put your credit card, you charge it up, or maybe have your recurring, um, recurring uh, billing on your statement. So... Second, uh, I would say second worst would be uh, T-Mobile. T-Mobile is not, again, not ideal uh, for the PCT. Some people like it. It will have reception, but not as great as the others. Um, when it comes to T-Mobile, maybe they have better planning in terms of affordability, but not ideal. I would go with the two. Uh, the two biggest are the AT&T, basically AT&T and Verizon. Those are the most dominant ones. If you're international uh, and not from uh, the U.S., go with AT&T by default because AT&T, which is, they have a pay-as-you-go. You can bring your own phone, plug and play. Uh, it's pretty simple. They have uh, a different kind of, of uh, um, they have different kind of uh, um, plans all the time. One thing that you, it's worth uh, for you to ask is if they give a free phone. If you don't have any, they give a free phone um, if you'll sign a certain plan. And if they do, actually, in some, some places and some uh, options, they will give you some sort of a, I would say, a standard but brand new phone, uh, which is a smartphone. Uh, they can do a lot of things with it. It's not amazing when it comes to the camera, but still a free phone. Um, so think about that when you uh, sign up with them. Um, if you're starting from if you're starting in Campo uh, with Frodo and Scout or with other uh, Trail Angels, then definitely by all means visit the AT&T store. It's just easier uh, to do that like that. Um, when it comes to Verizon, Verizon is really good, so I would say they're par. Um, I wouldn't say that one is better than the other. I had many places. I personally had AT&T um, because Verizon doesn't really offer. Uh, offer you to have a pay-as-you-go plan if you don't have a U.S. I don't remember if it was just a U.S. Uh, um, a US uh, credit card or something like that that was a big obstacle for a lot of international people. 
Uh, so Verizon was not for me. Plus in Verizon, it's a different method that uh, we have in uh, uh, the rest of the world. So it would the phone or the the system or the network that they work would not work anywhere else. So I decided just to stick with our the typical GSM and the kind of brand uh, ranges that are common in the rest of the world and especially in Europe. Um, so AT and T was my personal choice. Um, one more thing to remember when it comes to signing up with the right uh, a provider: check the phone that it's working at the store. If the internet is working, that you know they're getting calls, you can get calls out. Uh, you don't want to fuss with that when you're on the go and you're in the middle of nowhere. It's really not worth it. Um, and before the the trail ends, it's really important if you're going with one of the providers, you have your credit card uh, there, and you need to cancel. Some of them have a two weeks or a month or something like that notice. Make sure that you time it right because if you have to leave the country, it's not really worth your 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 you know hard earned money uh, to just be be spent um, be thrown away to the let's say provider when you're already out of the country. And if it's a SIM card, you're leaving the U.S. You can't use it anymore, uh, and then you have to pay another billing cycle. So if you know that let's say you're done, if you see towards the end. Uh, the, you're going to hit uh, the terminal, the northern terminal, in, uh, let's say, on the 7th of uh, September. Uh, give them a call two weeks before, just verify before that um, to make sure that you can cancel on time. Give them a head note, head up, heads up notice so it would not work in Canada anymore or maybe it would work for a few days. You can catch your flight or whatever you want to do afterwards. So that's it. It's a short video all about SIM cards. If you like this video, if you like more videos like that, please comment below, subscribe to the channel, and that way I'll know that you're actually uh, digging uh, this stuff, and I'll be happy to share more, more advice and more content like that. Happy 2019.